Sally Hornsey taught me how to make my own perfume. This is every little girl's dream. All my childhood, I was squishing roses and putting them in bottles with water. And now there are bottles, there are pipettes, there are testers. What am I allowed to do? What would you like <laughs> to do? Um, what I thought we could do is start off by looking at some of these smells. You can pick up the bottles and see which ones you like. Sally has a huge collection of different smelling oils, which will be the raw ingredients for my perfume. What I've done here is put them into a group of floral smells, a group of fruity smells. Now, this is what we call green and fresh. Right. We have woody, and then we have sort of foody and oriental spicy. The flowery ones, immediately there are lots of ones that I particularly like. Many of us have these oils hanging around our bathrooms, but rather than dripping them in the bath, I'm going to combine a few of them with perfumer's alcohol to create my scent. It's just very glamorous chemistry. Ooh, Farnet. When people smell that one, they often say it reminds them of the little purple sweets. It does me too. I'd rather eat it. <laughs> I've chosen my four oils. I've tried to choose one from each of Sally's group of smells, because that should help me create a well-balanced, long-lasting fragrance. I see missing slightly, but I think what you have there is a, is a very adventurous, delightful perfume. Well done. Not spicy enough. <laughs> That'll be me. The next step is a matter of trial and error, working out the exact recipe for my scent. Three or four drops of rose on the cotton wool pads. I try the oils in different proportions until I find a mix I'm happy with. I think I'm going to give that one more try and just swap coconut for black pepper. What do you think about that? It'll be a lighter smell. Yeah. I think it'll be a more, more refreshing smell. The oils we're using are mostly fragrance oils, artificially created in the lab and costing from two to five pounds a bottle. You can buy these online from specialist websites. But watch out, because essential oils, pressed from the flower and fruits themselves, are more expensive. A bottle of rose essential oil this size would set you back 80 quid. You smell it from the other side as well. You'll have more of the, the rose That's rosier. Blade. That's what I like. That's my recipe. That's my smell. What do we do now? Please get to tell me that I use a pipette and a crimper and a spray <laughs> and a spring <laughs> in. We're going to create the blend. We're going to dilute it with a perfumer's alcohol. This part does involve a bit of maths. We need to make up 50 mils of oil blend. So we have to multiply the number of drops of each individual fragrance by eight to give us the right amount needed. I was kicked out of chemistry class. Look who's laughing now. The final step is to dilute the oil with alcohol. And that's it, my very own eau de toilette. Oh! <laughs> that's really quite nice. What do you think? Oh. Fantastic. I'd wear it. Now, can we put them in the special bottles and mark them up? <laughs> and although I say so myself, it's looking pretty professional. I'm beyond delighted with it. Kirsty, number one. JLo and Kylie, eat your hearts out. <laughs>